Zebra Herd, welcome back to Cube World. Today we're heading back into the very cubish action. I'm gonna call over my bunny Frederick that we got in the beginning of last episode. We also got the hang glider and the reins to use to ride him. So lots of cool stuff has been going on, but now we are all the way on the most northern part of the Anka Plains. And you can see with it, uh, we're at Seymour Graveyard. Uh, it's a two-star area. I'm gonna do my best to handle everything here. I also noticed between episodes, Ow, I fell. Um, where was it? There was something around here. And I was like, huh, that's what we should check out next. Let me get on top of the trees. Where was it? Here, whatever that is. It's like, hit here, whatever that is. That's what we'll check out next after we're ah, done with this. So let's fight these guys. As you can see, there's a bunch of monstrosities. Okay. They don't look very nice. Maybe I can just get one of them over here. You think that they wouldn't be so hard to hit? Oh my gosh, it alerted all of them. Look at them go. I wanna get a good look at them. They look like Frankensteins. Oh gosh. Okay, back it up, back it up. They're huge and there's a lot of them, but I can stun all of them. Wowie, that was actually better than I thought it was going to be. And let's get this stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Ready for this, ready for this, ready? Boom, see you guys. All right, that was actually really good. And they actually have a gnome that they're beating up around here. Oh, that didn't work, that didn't work. Oh man, the body slam that he does. That ain't good. Ooh, don't get hit by that. Okay, I mean if I die, I spawn in right there luckily, but I, I don't wanna die, so there we go. We got it, that was great. Don't know where Frederick is. Oh, hello. Uh, thanks a lot, I saved um, a spike creature. Oh, and here we go, here we go. This is, uh, you received the rare book of crafting. You can craft rare equipment in the Yanka Plains. I also got a handsome iron fist, which is three stars. And you know, I'm glad I was able to save you before you got eaten by monstrosities. Okay, so we can also go inside of this building, correct? Oh, we can use the spirit bell. Oh, that's cool. Whoa! We're like in a spirit world now. Oh, that is so cool. So what is going on inside of this building? We can go up this staircase. I said I could pick something up. I can take the candle. I don't know if I needed the candle, but it's all that was in here, so let's hope that was worth my while. Um, weird. Let's take a look at that. Let's go to our backpack. We have a number of things to check out now. So I got this extraordinary iron fist, which unfortunately isn't quite as good as what I already have. Um, the only thing that's better is it's uh, critical, which isn't that crazy. Uh, same thing with the handsome iron fist. So I'm probably gonna sell both of those. Um, the handmade iron sword isn't crazy. Lots of leftovers. And then some green tier stuff and some stuff I can't equip. That's okay, it happens. So where is that candle at? Um, oh, the, the candle's an item. Okay, so if I go like this, I mean, it's not available in my quick select, so I don't know what the deal is with the candle. Maybe you guys know, if you do, feel free to let me know. Anyways, we gotta go back into the spirit world so we can just go right through like that and eat a spiritual apple. Very cool, isn't it, Mr. Bunny? All right, well, that was cool. I'm glad that we were able to get another thing done. And now we're gonna check what in the, what in the world that was over there. What are those guys? Oh, lizardmen. Okay. I don't want to be a ghost anymore, so maybe the more we travel out of here, everything will be okay. I want to talk to these lizardmen because they might give me a new quest, you never know. Hello. Uh, are you interested in hang gliding? Aren't you scared of heights? Egg. Huh. Good day. How are you? Do we know each other? I mean, now we do. Isn't that great? How do I get out of ghost mode? Hello. I want to have a radishing sprout pet. Okay, I hope you get one soon. Uh, you have the spirit bell. Spooky, I know, right? I don't know how to unspirit myself. I'm stuck. Uh, I guess I'll keep it for now. I don't. I honestly have no clue. I thought it was like on a timer. Oh, yep, uh, maybe it is. Weird. Oh, we got some elves over this way. They look like they're they they mean business. I don't know if it's worth messing with those guys. Yeah, but look at all this stuff. There's like a giant. Like wall, statue kind of thing? What is this? I am not quite sure. We're gonna go find out. 
And I'm like, okay, this guy I can handle, but he has like 15 friends. Let my stamina restore and try to pick him off individually. Oh no, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, um, ow, these guys hurt, but I can pick off one of them right there. Boom, stun this guy, ow, but I'm stunned too. Come on, come on, keep getting him, keep getting him, keep getting him, there we go. Now it's just all of his ranged buddies who are putting up, ow, quite a fight, I almost got him, I'll revive, darn. Um, but you know what, we could just get it back out there really quickly and maybe just pick up whatever his friends dropped. I don't know if it was much, it might have just been coins, but you don't know until you get out there. What is that? That is the legendary elf that I will absolutely not be messing with. And these guys are nice. Dwarves of mana, we haven't actually met our dwarf druids of mana. How are you? My favorite pet is a bunny, me too! We're friends. Uh, do you know what caterpillars eat? Mixed salad. Okay. You have the hang glider, nice work, thanks. I enjoyed the compliments. But yeah, these are the two that are left. They're back to full health, so I guess if an enemy defeats you, they probably heal, so that you can't really cheat it that way. But you know what? I'm getting my revenge. Now that's just us two. Friend didn't even notice over there. Let's go ahead and get you, ready? Uh, boom, nice. That's a really good move when it actually lands. So what do we get over this way? The unique wood bow. Fortunate, unfortunately, I can't really use it. Um. Still don't have too much I can make here. Actually, I can make the uh, Ginseng soup. There we go. So what's going on with all of this? There is more elves around here. Once again, if I could pick them off one at a time, that makes a big difference. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I did that. <laughs> Come on, gotcha. Over this way now. Uh, ooh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Now sack on as much damage as I can because this is getting dangerous. There we go. My gosh, what did I pick up there? Handsome gold amulet. Oh, that actually might be better than what I currently have. Let's eat one of these mushroom things. While my character is doing that, I want to take a look at that amulet. It gives higher haste, but is worse than everything else, so not really worth it. Okay, so I'm getting gear, but nothing I can really use. Mana inductor. It's a mana pump. Interesting, and there's a lot more, there's a soldier from the Steel Empire. Seems like he means business. Is there more of them? Who is this? That's a three-star soldier. Gotta be careful. Come on, beat him up, beat him up. Oh, nice, gotcha. And what else do we have going on around here? Did any of your friends notice there, or they didn't? That's good, I'm trying to take advantage of that fact. One more, there it is, good job, good job. I'm trying to take out as many of these bad guys as I can in today's episode. Um, and also, do you just figure this out? This mana pump seems very cool. Come on, ready? Mm, I love doing that. I'm really happy with my choice of class with the ninja. It's been a ton of fun. I would love to hear um, which class you ended up choosing. I don't know, maybe if we get really far in the game and we sort of get tired of it, maybe we could sort of start like a like a part two, a season two of the series where we just sort of stop what we're doing with this guy and move to a different class. Like maybe that'd be more fun at some point. Um, then you know, like, I, don't, I really don't know what happens too much after we finish the first area. I think at that point it's just sort of like, oh, you like that? Well, rinse and repeat forever. So I don't know how many people are interested in that. So like my main goal for this series right now is to complete this first area, the Anka Plains. If people enjoy it, I might move on to other areas or I might call it there. It really just depends on what everyone wants to see. Okay, so this guy's only a two star, so we should be able to handle him quite easily. I say that, but then I miss a lot. What is this? Undamaged filament shoulder armor. Where's that? Oh, I can't wear that. Okay, never mind. This guy's a little bit more powerful. But I stunned him. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, come on, get him, get him. Ah. He's a tough one, he knocked out my bunny Frederick. My bunny buddy. Got him. What did he drop? Some more soup. I really appreciate the soup drops, that's for sure. Come on, I only got a couple more seconds left on this, so definitely make the most of it. I've gotten most of them. I mean, there's still a couple more left. This guy shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Slice and dice him. Good job, bunny buddy. 
Okay. Uh, so we will start on this guy over here now. Hiya. And then, boom, stun him. Knock down his health as much as I can, which sometimes just isn't very much with the sword. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Come on, he's at seven health. We got some magic steel boots. I don't think I can equip those, unfortunately. Ow, rude. This guy luckily doesn't have too much health. But he was still, he had enough health to do some damage to me. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Okay, that's most of them cleared out. I think more of them are, oh gosh, popping up. So I might ignore some for now. Asgore, soldier, two stars, steel empire. So he is a boss fight. Okay, let's let's fight you first. There we go. Come on now. Come on, almost got you. I mean, you almost got me too, so gotta be careful. Gotta have another mushroom spit. I'm glad I have a ton of these. I'm glad I have an absolute ton. But it shows you that I should probably get a lot more of those, what was it, radish or onion? I think it was radish. I need to take those guys out whenever I see them. Because they dropped some very helpful materials. There's some crows over this way, and then a bumblebee. So if I could stand between the both of them, I don't know if that's gonna work. But uh, I do wanna offer my stuff to them. So we got popcorn, caramel, pancakes, strawberry, uh, mineral water, peanut, nothing. Where's the bumblebee? Hey, bumblebee. I got some stuff for you if you're interested. Uh, not interested in that. Not interested in the peanut. Or the mineral water. Or the strawberry drink. Popcorn. Banana split. Nothing. Not interested in any of that. Couple more apples, quite a few actually. Can't even pick most of them up. We'll definitely get the, the ginseng again. Ginseng, ginseng, whatever it is. And let's try this guy. He looks cool up there. I'm a little worried, but we're gonna try it. Come on, come on, keep getting him. It's going pretty well actually. I'm just trying to dodge his attacks while using my own and my bunny's attacking him up there. And now we can actually get up there and destroy the, the mana thing. Come on, climb, 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 climb. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. There it is. Also pick up all that stuff, I got a boomerang. That's always fun. So the more I attack, the more I earn up mana, and then I can unleash it. So that's how that works. I understand now. And we also have a combo going on. We're gonna be here for a minute. Because <laughs> we're just gonna keep attacking. Oh boy. Come on, come on. All right, 70 hits. Can I get up to 100? Probably. Almost there. And 93. So we destroyed that thing. I mean, I don't know what the purpose was. Destruction of property, I guess. I mean, I guess maybe the earth has mana in it, and these guys wanna take it, which probably isn't good. Okay, there's that done. Come over here, Frederick. I need your help, because you move faster than I do. But you do not uh, climb up walls, so there is some perks to having a little bit of everything. So I do see this guy. I'll try beating him up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, where did you guys come from? You're kidding me. You guys were not here a second ago. Okay, stop it. Soldiers everywhere. Um, Boom, go ahead and hit him with the slam move. Gotcha. Get rid of that guy and then work on you. You started this all. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I can't believe I survived all that. I'm glad I have so many mushroom spits. I don't know why they're called spits. That's sort of gross, but that's what they're called. So over here, there's a couple more bad guys and another mana pump. They don't seem to be bosses, so if I could pick them off one at a time, that'd be perfect. Why? I pulled out my, my glider there and then it stopped every time. Climb up this. And where's the first dude? He's right here, he's trying to sneak up on me. Boom, stun him. Nice, that's what I'm missing with that. I get it now, I get it. So once again, if I can make that one guy mad and then charge at him, stun him, that's it. Now I'm really destroying them. When did I get there? Unique silver amulet, grand wood boomerang. All right, come on, got him. Come on. Nice. So up this way, I need to climb. 
and we just need to beat this up. This is the the mana pump. Oh, I can't beat this one up. So I guess I maybe have to get all the other ones first. There we go, come on. Nice, got him. <laughs> so, back over this way then, if I can. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. I gotta really get used to the thing. That's so weird, like I'm in the air, I used a hang glider, and I'm holding space to, you know, do it, but it's just like, off of smaller things like that, I guess it doesn't really work very well. Anyways, there is an enemy up there. I'm gonna try my best to get him. What are you doing? I wanted to climb. I don't like how the button for climbing and the button for pulling out the hang glider are the same. I'm pretty sure that, that was not an issue in the original. Oh my gosh, you're huge. Oh my gosh, you're gigantic. Um. Well then, it's time to fight. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're tearing you up. If I could stun you again though, that'd be fantastic. There it is. Now I understand the power of this sword. I've been relying too much on the other stuff. I never truly figured this out. Oh, the big slam on you. Come on. There it is. Wowie, so what did we get there? We got the battle tested rivet boots, polished bronze gloves. Not bad. Stop. <laughs> okay, back up this way. We are destroying this thing. That's it. So maybe the more mana I have, the more damage it does? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's it. So the more MP that I have, the more my right click does. So the more I hit something, the more the MP builds up. So that's what you gotta keep in mind. That's the big kicker with that. Because I don't know if it's worth it numbers wise just to do this instead. Like if this is actually over time faster just to do one hit right click. Maybe it would be. I feel like that actually does add up more <laughs> over time. Um, but there's another one done. I'm gonna have another mushroom thing. Almost there. Hi, bunny. Let's move back this way. I'm gonna ignore who I can. I don't know how many more pumps we gotta get, but this is a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Oh, you know what? Sure, why not? So first, I'm gonna try to just stun you. It needs to be put up to a certain amount of MP to be able to stun though. What did you drop? Cabbage rolls? Who was that for? Somebody needed cabbage rolls. Was it sheep? I think it was sheep. So if I run the sheep, now I have cabbage rolls. That's good. So yeah, I gotta go that way for that one. I already got this one down that way. So these two. So I'm gonna use the hang glider. It's actually working out really well. Come on, almost there. Almost. Uh, and. Ah, uh, okay, oh, I got stunned by him. Okay, not what I wanted. I activated my ninjutsu already, so this really stinks. Okay, come on, come on, come on, ready? Stun him. Get rid of the zombie he spawned in. It's the felon. Felon the felon. <laughs> He's doing some bad stuff here, so he might be. There we go, grabbed a lot of money. And some other stuff too. Unique linen shoulders, uh, flawless mail gloves, and 652 coins in total now, which is pretty good. So now that I'm gonna get back up here. I honestly do think that's faster, but it's not doing any damage to it. Now it is. I guess I was just hitting it in the wrong spot. I don't know, maybe I'll let it charge up. Cause you have to hit it for a while for it to do that. But at the same time, it stacks up some pretty high damage. So maybe that is better. Yeah, okay, I'll admit, that's better. I don't know what happened to uh, Frederick. There we go. I'm doing a lot of hits to it, though. Hey, where did Frederick go? Maybe, okay, he's down there. That was because I maybe got beat up. Just need some time to recuperate. Okay, we're down to 600. There we go. Awesome, so. Using the apple, there's only one more left to go to and it's way over there. <laughs> but we're gonna do it, we're gonna get all these done. We're making some great progress. I don't think this was something that was in the original though, so this like really is invigorating to try. Let's get up this way. 
And then it's just right over this way, so if I just use whatever stamina I have left to at least get up to here, that should be good. I still just have the glider out, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so, now focusing on this guy who falls down, which honestly is, makes it much easier. Let's stun him, and then build this all the way up to 100%. Oh, he, he, he shielded that. Darn. Not this time, though. There we go. Back it up a little bit. He's a tough one. Some of them are easier than others, that's for sure, but this guy is a tough one. He knows what he's doing. Ah, uh, I gotta be careful here. He could actually take me out if I'm not careful. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Um. Whoa, what happened to all my mana there? That was weird. Um. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, this is problematic. Nah, I can't, I can't. I'm so close to taking him out though. Don't you dare. Oh. Uh, get up here and then just heal. Heal, heal, heal. He's gonna take a second to figure out how to get up here. Oh, here he comes. Come on, go, tussle with him, tussle with him, tussle with him. Boom, stun him again. Switch to the ninjutsu, start building up our mana. Stun him like that. Oh, he's gonna heal now, huh? No, uh not if I can help it. I'm gonna stun him. Come on, there it is! Alrighty, that worked really well. We also got Zillia's superb silk shoulder armor, which is four stars. The thing is, can I even equip that? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, not looking like it. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Uh, but I can equip these boots, but they're worse than what I have. It's the only legendary armor I have right now is the boots. Um. The amulet's not as good. Yeah, none of it's, un unfortunately, none of the, the stuff I'm getting is good compared to what I have. Like, it's not bad, it's just not as good. Okay, attacking this as much as I can right now. It's not doing much damage, but that is, so. The more you do damage to something, the more th this thing starts to hurt. It's weird. It's like, I guess it's a combo type thing. And of course, our buddy Frederick is helping. Yeah, he only does like five or six damage, but that's still fine. I wanted to see how much damage he did. It's something that makes a difference. And that's all I asked for him, is to try his best and to make a difference. And he walked away when I said that. He's like, okay, I made my difference. I'm gonna go take a nap. Can't blame you. All this adventuring can be tiresome. Oh, he, I guess he fell. Poor guy. And there we go. So that's all of them except for the main one. So I'm just going to try to heal up to my maximum, or as close as I can get to it. And then we'll try again. But to going to the center, and just sort of seeing what ends up happening. Okay, so climb back up this way, for right now. And Frederick, buddy, if you could come over here. <laughs> okay, probably bothering him with that. I guess for now I could just glide. Glide, glide! I said glide. <laughs> It just doesn't work sometimes, it's bizarre. Okay, ready? Grab onto that! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Hi, Frederick. There we go, that was good. Let the stamina go all the way back up. Okay, that's good enough. And then get it to about here, and then jump up! So can I destroy this thing now? I've destroyed all of the pumps, all four of them. Have been, what are you doing? Dismantled. Ah, ah, oh, I didn't see you before. Were you here before? I don't know. It's it's Grola of the Steel Empire. Okay, tackle him. Mm, not bad, actually. The problem is that he's gonna get back up. And he took me out, I can't believe it. Yikes, because of his friend who just showed up out of nowhere, wasn't it? That stinks. Okay, we're gonna go back out there and show Grola who's boss. Not letting that happen again. Come on, Frederick. Let's kick some mana pumping army men butts or whatever they're supposed to be, I don't know. Okay, so they were out this way. It's a little bit of a walk, unfortunately. Okay, I'm almost up there again. Need to wait for my stamina or her store again. And then just go up, try to be careful for where they are, because they like to be sneaky like that. I see, does he have a friend over this way? It doesn't seem like it, so here's my chance. To get a couple of hits, and he's a magician, so it's like really hard to dodge his stuff. I mean, I guess I gotta do that. <laughs> it uses up stamina, of course. Ow, and I'm already down to 132 health, dude. Stop that. 
Hopefully you can't hit me around corners or something. No, you don't. Okay, keep getting him. Hit him again like that if I can. Ouch, uh, stun him. Come on, <laughs> it's so tough. It's way tougher than it looks. Way tougher than it looks. Um. Okay, he's coming around the corner. Ah, oh, come on. I just need time, I just need time. But you just don't get that with this guy. He's really tough. Come on, stun, the stun didn't land. Oh my gosh, he's too powerful. Oh, I didn't do all of this work for him to beat me. Not happening. I mean, I'm trying so hard to find new stuff and the game just won't cough it up. So like, I don't know what else to do except for to try this over and over again until we get it. I wish there was a closer spawn point, but I guess there's been worse. So let's try this again. This time, I don't feel like I wanna get too far away from him, because I do that, he just makes up the distance. So if I could just get close like this and just beat him up as much as possible, stun him, and just like really bring it to him, it might be my best bet. Like rolling around seems to not solve anything for me. So if I could just work on him like this, I might just be able to beat him down enough that we get the victory. Stun him, that's it, come on, he's getting lower and lower and lower, but so am I, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be really close, no, man! Look at how low he was, let's do it again. I don't care how many times it takes, we are beating him. Okay, ready, go. Get right up in front of him, and then stun him, just like that, come on. Do that, I am much lower on health this time, this one's not going as well but I'm not chopping it up to luck. I know that we can do this. Circling around him seems to do something. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. We got him! What are you doing here? Get, get out of here, get out of here. Give me a second, give me a second. Don't you see I need to recoup? Don't you see? No, he doesn't see. <laughs> All he sees is the ability to take me out. Not happening, buddy. Oh my gosh, we did it and my phone alarm goes off just to celebrate the occasion. <laughs> but did we like do it, do it? It's not giving me a check mark, which may mean that there's still more we can do. Uh, I'm going to guess that means that we can destroy this now. And yes, we can. After what was that, like 30 minutes of hard work? We did it. And I got some stuff, I didn't really read it. We got extra Extraordinary Filament Gloves, we got Zillia's Superb Silk, no, that was last time, uh, Mikey's Handsome Bronze Chest Armor, and a Glass Flask, so nothing like jaw-dropping. But we are, you can tell that we're getting higher tier items, we're getting blue three stars and purple four stars more often than anything now. We just gotta hope we actually get some primary weapons that do something for me. Um, in the meantime, now that I've done that, I'm not really sure what I wanna do next. Uh, I could just look around and find something, but that can sometimes be a bit tedious. So I'm thinking my next best bet is most likely, unless I can find anything in the distance, which I mean, I've been running around a lot and I haven't seen anything in the distance. Um, I'm thinking we'll go back to our main town and talk to townsfolk, see if I can't get anything. Um, I also get the exquisite Iron Dagger of Vamore. Uh, the mana absorption effect was reduced. Okay, I don't know what that really means. Mana absorption effect. But hey, we got it done, there is the check mark. What an extraordinary thing to do. Um, I'm way over here, I need to be back over this way. We're gonna go back to Varno Village. Here we go! And yeah, while we're here, it is nighttime now. It's gonna be nighttime for a while because that's how this game works. Uh, but we'll be exploring Varno Village a little bit more, hopefully being able to sell stuff, buy stuff, all that kind of thing and hopefully get some other quests in our directory would be nice. So that's what I wanna do for the rest of today's episode. I think we earned it. Just some relaxing nightly town strolls. Hello, I like your style. Oh, thank you, everybody's so nice around here now. Uh, let's talk to these two. We've talked to them a couple of times. Talk to them a couple more. Um, good luck finding the boat. Oh yeah, you gave me the boat quest, which we will work on. Um, hello, my name is Arunia. I love hang gliding. Okay. So in here, you sell nothing new for me, unfortunately, but you sold the, the carrot for me to get Frederick here. Over this way. Oh, uh, greetings. How can I help you? I want to rest here until, actually, I would love to do that because I like it better when this game is daytime. <laughs> I don't like it when it's nighttime. Oh, yeah, here's Arcor again. 
My name is Arkor. I'm visiting Verno Village to identify leftovers. Oh, that's that's what the identifier fire person does. I thought there was gonna be weapons. Like I've played like Torchlight and stuff where they have that, but I guess you do this. Um, so this is my equipment. So I can identify this for two gold. Um, you receive decorated iron shield. Whoa. Okay, so I have a lot of those. I was gonna identify all of it. Oh, this is super cool. So that was all of my leftovers right there. That was pretty cool. Um, I don't have anything else for you to identify. I thought that was something else. <laughs> Whoa, a Spectrino. I wanna play as you. Do you like sailing? I don't have a boat. If I had a boat to give you, I would, because you're so cool. I did dwarf over this way. So you already rescued the supplier gnome at the Coral Rocks. Good work. Oh, and a necromancer. Couldn't you find the supplier gnome yet? You should be in Asdor uh, Menir. All right. Yeah, this is the inn. Don't have to worry about that now. Is this a store or is this just, this is just a random house? Okay. Whoa. Got some enemies pretty close to town. That might be pretty rough. Yeah, that's an alpha dog. <laughs> the, the Scottish Terriers. This is hanging out near the alpha dog. That's hilarious. I can't grab these, unfortunately. Anyways, I want to zoom in more. So I can see exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I probably want to sell some gear, like I said before. So I'll go right over this way. And before I sell it, I'll just double check it all, and make sure there isn't anything I want. And if there isn't, then I'll sell it. So go to my bag, go here, going all the way to the top. We got the exquisite iron dagger of Varmore. The problem is it has less damage, HP haste. It, once again, is only better in critical, which overall isn't very helpful, unless it has like a, t a faster attack rate. But I don't think that's the case. Like if I go one, two, three, four, I mean, maybe that is something I could keep in mind. I would need like a second one. Because on its own, it's not much. That's sort of the problem with daggers. Maybe I'll hold on to that one for now. Um, the unique silver amulet is worse in every way except for haste. Uh, same thing with the handsome gold amulet. And then everything else I have here just isn't much of note. The only thing I should pay attention to is if anything has a plus sign next to it, because that means I can bring it into different areas, which none of the things I can actually equip do. Okay, so let's talk to you and sell everything except for that exquisite iron dagger of more. Because if I can find something equal to that so that we have two daggers, that might actually be better. There we go. Um, and does he have anything that I would really want? Uh, I'm up to 789 coins. We get battered, cotton chest armor. It's worth than what I have. This is better than what I have. 40 coins, I'll buy it. This is better haste and better regeneration. I'll buy it. And the chest armor is better. And this is what I want to spend my money on. That's worse. Uh, th what is this? Th these are shoulder armors and much better than what I have. And that's also shoulder armor. Oh, that might have been better than what I just bought from him. Darn, oh well, it's fine. It's still an upgrade compared to what I have. So I just upgraded a lot of my armor. Uh, there we go. So I should have it all equipped now. And we're looking pretty cool. Look at us, our shoes are still ridiculous, but that's okay. Okay, so with that done, I do want to go to the sword store, the weapon store, see if I can't buy anything there. Also talk to Mikal or Michael or whatever. Uh, welcome to Varno Village. I don't know if too many of these people actually have any more quests for me, but I think that the more I talk to them, uh, the more quests they can end up giving. Where can you bring me to? Like everywhere is a crazy thing. Because I wanted to go where? I wanted to go all the way over here. We could get right here or right there. Probably here. I'm curious about this place now. Uh, maybe at some point, maybe that's what we'll do to begin next episode. For right now though, um, which one was the sword shop? This one over here. And this is Jerem. Hi, my name is Jerem. I love to sing in the forest. Is that what he said? I think. Uh, so what do you have? Um,
Ooh. Ooh. I want it. It's mine. <laughs> okay, um... And I just sold him that sword. Uh, let's hope that was worth it. I don't have a sword at the moment. I'm just punching. Um, but I can equip this. Ooh! Ain't nobody gonna mess with us now. We're still level one, which I don't understand. But you know what? We got some good stuff going on, uh, for sure. So we're up to double four stars. Four stars for the weapon and armor. Um, so we could definitely tackle level four star stuff now. Um, I would have to imagine. We could try tussling with like the one legendary over this way, because it seems like we can always beat something above our level if we try hard enough. But if I could poke around with some of the weaker things first, some of these outlier uh, savage dogs, that'd be perfect. So, where is he? Savage dog, right over that way. Come on. There we go, it's just him that I want. And that already did some good damage. And then I can do that. He definitely hurts a lot. Oh, I can actually tame him? No way, that's crazy. Yeah, you can. Okay, so let's get this guy a little bit. I'm gonna weaken him up as much as I can, and then stun him. And then the damage stacks on. It really ain't that bad. Okay, so we're able to take on four stars now. It's pretty exciting. High Scottish Terrier. Haven't actually tried to get any of the Scottish Terriers just yet. I also love how much damage we're able to do with that. Like, that makes a big difference. No, I didn't mean to make the Scottish Terrier mad. I'm so sorry. I had to, though. It was just sort of the happenstance of it. I'm gonna eat up this apple, and then we're gonna take on our first ever legendary enemy, and maybe even be able to defeat it. The Alpha Dog. Which is great, because that was the first ever enemy to defeat it us, was an Alpha Dog. Stun ya. Keep going crazy with this. We already have you halfway down. We are gonna get you here. See ya, buddy. That was amazing, what do we get for this? Leftovers, that was like golden leftovers too, so that's crazy. And he did some damage to me. I haven't offered anything to the Scottish Terrier yet, I don't think, so let's figure that out really quickly. And then a split, popcorn, pancakes, strawberry cocktail, mineral water, peanut, cabbage rolls. I know the, the cabbage rolls are for the sheep, so if we ever get a situation like that, sheep? But will this go over my current pet? Like, that's something I haven't answered yet. No, I don't just eat an apple in front of them. Here we go. Hey, don't you guys like cabbage rolls? I thought that they did. I guess they don't. Huh, maybe I misread it, or just misremembered or something. Definitely possible. Uh, for right now, though, we'll break some of this. But yeah, I'm so happy about the fact we were able to accomplish some of this, that, that stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, now that we have, we could go back over this way for the rest of today's episode. I mean, we're just about out of time for today. So maybe I shouldn't, but there's the core graveyard, Asdor men here, camp. We can get that stuff done probably without an issue. Um, or at least with like mild issues at most. Um, and then we'll be able to explore all of this area and really just try to poke around. So there is definitely some things we'll get started doing in the next episode of Cube World. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Mana so now you've watched the end of the year a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.